this is GamesDuckOn here, and today we're going to be doing our Seattle favorite things, which is pretty self-explanatory. We're going to be each picking one favorite thing that we did while we were in Seattle um, for the past couple of weeks. Yeah, we were there like two weeks. Yeah, we were there like almost as long as we were in Japan and London. Mm -hmm. So, it feels really weird because it felt so different from those trips. <laughs> but I think it was just because we, I think part of the adding on to the London and Japan trips were... How, like the really long flights and yeah, being yeah. in a different country, sure. even though we're just in a different state. So you know. if you're gonna go visit Seattle and spend a little bit of time, here are our top things. Yeah. Right? You wanna right. kick us off, Bhutan? Sure. So my favorite thing that I did there was the underground tours. They were just a super amazing tours. And um, the tour guide we had was absolutely amazing. Um, and the history of Seattle was actually really interesting. I didn't really know much about it, mm -hmm. um, but it was really, really cool. And I definitely really, really enjoyed the tours. I've said really, really so many times. Mm -hmm. um, but I definitely recommend them if you guys are going to Seattle. Because um, we also really liked the City Pass. But uh, this is something a bit smaller that you might not hear about. If you're like looking up Seattle and good Seattle tour locations. Because mm -hmm. it was really, really amazing. And... I just ha and I had no idea that Seattle had this like really cool underground very unique history. To Seattle. Yeah, it's a very unique yeah. to Seattle. It's not just like a kind of his American history tour. Yeah. Because Seattle actually has like a super interesting history that I didn't know about. Mm. Um, and yeah, I definitely feel like I know a lot more about history with that trip, and I have a lot more random facts to Good tell my friends. Trip. Yeah. Yeah. So link in the doobly doo to the video that you guys did when you went and did that. Yes. Yeah. Cool. All right. There's Poochons, number one. Okay. Cooper. Uh huh. I have two of them. <laughs> them. Them. One from home. One from Seattle. The food and the second one. Right now, before we started recording, saying bye bye to the toilet. Which kind of fits in with Alba's thing. <laughs> you learned a lot about toilets while you were doing the underground. Oh yeah, and under underground. Um, we. And a long time ago, oh, toys were called clappers, and we also saw the guy get float out of a clapper. Mm. Lots out of a clapper. Okay, well, so talk about your food. What yeah. was your favorite what food, your, What was the food? Donuts and chocolate. And where did you get those? Um, I think here at the pastry shop. The pastry we, shop? At our hotel, we had, had donuts, but we mostly went to our pastry shop, but they also have donuts. What was the pastry shop called? <laughs> the pastry shop was called Dahlia's Bakery. We also got a pie there one night. Yeah, they're yeah. famous for their coconut cream pie, and it was really yeah, good. Yeah, we got that yeah. one. Yeah, and every morning I would walk over there and get donuts for the kids. And yeah, yeah, every morning we'll have that. Yep. And what did you like about the donuts, Ava? Did you like them? Oh, I loved the donuts, and they were really good. And they had lots of different flavors of jam. And dipping the donuts in them and eating them. Is that what you had to shake the bag? No, the bag had... Um, there was so a brown... It? it wasn't the donuts. Yeah. Uh, it was the donuts, so... it, but it wasn't the jam. And it had a mix of, I think, cinnamon and sugar. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and I would shake it in the morning, which would mm. aggravate Cooper a lot, but, um, it's to get, they do it in the restaurant, because they get their, they get donuts from the bakery, because it's just across the street, oh, uh -huh. for the rest, the hotel's uh, restaurant, okay. that's the donuts that we have yeah, yeah, right. on the first day, and, um, they shake it up so that it, like, the brown sugar and stuff covers it more, because otherwise it's just a big, like, coating of sugar at the bottom of the bag. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you shake it up, and then I dipped it in the jam, and it was really, really good. Jam or jelly? Jam. And, yeah. and that's, and why you shake it? Because it's sugar in the bag, and I can just have to shake all the sugar on, on, and every time, I mean, when I have extra sugar, I was, I was just eating it, I was literally, and one time I literally hid it under the bed, bed and I tried to pour it into another donut box. Okay, well that'll lead me to mine, which is a big thanks to the Hotel Andra, because they had to clean up after Cooper, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they uh, were just really, really um, helpful, and they gave us extra pillows for Brian, and anything we wanted, they were like, my pleasure. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, and we had a really hard time picking where we were going to stay. 
Um, but we decided to go with that hotel and I'm really glad we did because we also got a suite so Brian had an area that he could go to and rest and we had our own space and that was really nice so um, thank you to them yeah it was a super nice little like boutique hotel there and it was you know just a couple of blocks off of Pike's Marketplace so we walked down to Pike's it was just a couple of blocks easy walk to do that and lots of good food around it and stuff and right by one of the train stations so catching the train was great so mm -hmm. if you're looking for a place to stay in downtown Seattle I, I certainly couldn't recommend that enough I think that was the, the yeah that was the perfect place that we ended up uh, staying yeah you liked it yeah and it yeah, was like it was really a good. really and like as you said it's in a really good central spot yeah because it's just like a short walk like you can go hit in the aquarium you go to Pike you go to West Lake uh, short of the, you can go to the monorail and go down to yeah. where like the science center and the Space Needle are and stuff it was it's a perfect place to stay yeah it was so just like one stop away yeah. on the monorail to go and like get on the Space Needle and the Museum of Pop Culture, the it was just and the Science Museum and the Science Museum. Yeah, like I can't remember. One area. So they're like little corner suite is what we stayed in, and they're they're really really nice. And uh, mm -hmm. my folks came in and stayed in a normal room, and it was really excellent too. Actually, I went I and know, checked their room out, and it was it was super nice too. So even the normal rooms are great, but the little corner suites were really great. Odd Lux mm -hmm. suites, I think, is what they called them. Um, but yeah, definitely Hotel Andra if you're looking for a place to Seattle. Uh, and then I guess mine. Yes, yes. Yes, your turn. Uh, so my, where I spent most of my time, uh, or not most of my, a lot of time, uh, the UW Medical Center, um, was, they were fantastic. Like, the, they really knew what they were doing, and, like, when you're in that kind of a situation, you're really looking for, like, confidence. <laughs> People that are really good at what they do and can help. And, and, you know, sort of spring into action and, and pain management and taking care of, like, all the advice that I got and the pre-op and post-op visits and everything. Like, I was I was super impressed with the University of Washington Medical Center. So if you're in a situation where you're looking to have, you know, something serious done or you're looking for a medical center where you're going to have some work done, um, I, I can't recommend them enough. Like, I, I, I was, throughout the entire process, was super amazed with their professionalism and, and how good they did and, and how, how well they took care of me. Uh, so like, I don't have any complaints at all about what went on, you know, during the, the surgery, during the entire process, they really had my best interest in mind and, uh, you know, took care of what I needed. Um, and I think that it went as well as it possibly could have gone. And so definitely my recommendation, uh, if you're going to do anything out there, uh, UW Medical Center is fantastic. So I highly recommend those guys. And, uh, Dr. Ray Hill specifically was my surgeon, uh, who did my surgery and he was just fantastic. He, he was amazing. I really, really felt like I was in the best hands I could possibly have been in so kudos to, to him and his entire team I thought they did great mm -hmm. that was my favorite thing because that's really all I did <laughs> <laughs> but it was also good like it was they were excellent it's not just a default selection yeah. they were actually they were really excellent I was super impressed with those guys mm -hmm. so two weeks out now I'm feeling a ton better so uh, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty happy yeah yeah and there'll be links again in the doobly-doo to as much of the stuff as we can sort of show you yeah, more yeah. detail about it. Um, our battery is blanking. So. Yeah, so you want to send this? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I definitely really, really enjoyed um, all of the stuff that I got to go and do. Um, there's a ton of really good museums and stuff like that. There'll be links in the description, as he said, to... I'm like putting my arms in front of my face. Mm. Uh, to some of the videos that we did in Seattle and some of the stuff we mentioned. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye, guys.